Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a method that we can all use in order to remove 100% of the shader related stutter in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but also will remove stutter from any games that we play on CMU Emulator. Okay, let's swap on over to my desktop and I'll show you exactly how you can do this. Okay, so the first step in this process is coming to this link here and downloading the latest CMUHawk version 0.5.6.2. There may be a newer version available by the time you see this video. Once you download it, you want to open up your CMU 1.11.3 folder and you want to drag and drop this zip file right here. As you can see, we have the old CMUHawk files. Just extract these new files into this folder. And once you click extract here, click yes to all and replace all of these files. Once you have the files replaced, you can drop this zip file back out to your desktop or delete it if you want. Let's now launch CMU. And when we come to the debug menu, you should see this new pre-compiled shader cache option. You want to set this to disabled and ignored and do not touch any other settings here. What doing this does basically stops the pre-compiled cache from being created, making CMU use only the GL cache shader cache. What this means for you is that every time you shut down your computer, the very first time you compile your shaders, it is going to do the long shader compilation. As you can see, this is taking quite a large amount of time, I'm going to speed up the footage and we will see exactly how long this long compilation takes. There we go. By my counting, that took about 5 minutes or slightly less. I'm going to now load straight into game and show you that we are indeed experiencing absolutely zero shader stutter. And here we go. We are now loaded into game and as you can see when I'm moving my camera, moving my player character around or using bomb runes, I am getting absolutely zero shader stutter whatsoever. Now I don't know about you guys but every single time I play Breath of the Wild and load my shader cache for the very first time, when I cut down trees I always got shader stutter. Let's equip a battle axe, cut down some trees and see what it's like. So there we go, as you can see, when we are cutting down trees, we are getting absolutely zero shader stutter, and my FPS is hardly moving at all. I must also mention that in this scene, I am not using GX2 draw done, however, if I do use it, I do not get any shader stutter either. Let's reload CMU and see exactly how much time it will take upon loading on the second compilation. Straight away, you can see that I am not speeding this footage up, and it is absolutely storming through this shader compilation. Let's just wait and see exactly how long it takes. Okay, we have now loaded through our fast shader compilation. By my counting, that took 32 seconds. Let's now load straight back into game after turning on fence skip hack and show that we are still not experiencing any shader stutter whatsoever. Okay, we're now loaded back into game. Let's throw around some bombs, cut down some trees and see exactly what our performance is like. There you go, once again, straight away after shader compilation, where we would usually have stutter when experiencing an effect for the very first time, we are now no longer seeing any kind of shader stutter whatsoever. What do you guys think of this new method of removing stutter? Do you believe that the added load times on first time of shader compilation is worth it for this complete removal of shader stutter? In my opinion, I think this is an absolutely essential feature and it is one that I will be using into the future when using CMU Emulator and playing my games. Once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found this one in some way useful or informative. As always, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, leave a comment down below if you have any other opinions on this new feature, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.